I don't do it that often, man. To be honest with you, I'm a vibe, man. Like, I really do things in life based on vibe, no matter what it is. So if, like, the vibe just feels right to me, like, man, I want to turn up, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, just really, really turn up. I might take one, you know? But just in general, um, my first experience with it, um, it was a good and bad experience. It was a good experience because... It just opened my mind up to just like, it had me like on a very, very positive wave at a time when I was like just low key kind of feeling some type of way. So I was like, okay, this is cool. But then I think I took too much. So I was up for like two days straight. And the downside of it was like, oh man, you know, I was like feeling worse than how I felt before I even took it, you know? But I said to say this is I'm not saying it for people to stop taking it. Do everything in moderation. It doesn't. It never makes sense to overdose on anything, or to do too much of anything. Moderation is key to success, you know, in a weird type of way in drug taking. But you know, if you if you take just enough, you have a good time, calm down, sleep off the rest, have sex, whatever you want to do, it's your choice. Groupies. Groupies. You hear about them all the time, but until you like you actually have like real celebrity groupies, you can't really talk about it because you don't really know. But for me, crazy experience so far. It's probably this girl at a strip club. She asked me for a picture one time. And then when I really sat back and thought about it after I left the club, like I took like 17 pictures with this girl. Um, she tried to kiss me like numerous amount of times. Um, it was kind of hilarious. It was kind of funny because it was like, I look at the situation as far as a man is a man. So if you feeling him like that, like it shouldn't take fame to feel him like that. But if that's what rolls your boat, I guess get in it and go. But that's probably my crazy experience so far. Um, my head injury when I was younger, um, because of the head injury, I really can't remember what happened before a certain age of probably like seven, eight, I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. But what I do remember is I was walking off, I was in Trinidad, if I'm not mistaken. I hope I was in Trinidad. And walking off some steps, there were stone steps. There's a lot of stone steps in Trinidad. You know, I think I, I want to say I missed it, fell, and um, I think I still got the scar right here in the middle, but like split that part open and um, blacked out. So when I blacked out, when I finally woke back up, I couldn't remember what happened. And I still can't remember to this day what really happened or things that happened before that time in my life. But I don't have brain damage, though. I don't have brain damage. I don't have brain damage. Oh, shit. That's crazy. The crack in my tooth, the crack in my tooth. A year and a half ago, maybe two years, or whatever, you know, men, we do terrible things, like have a nail in our arm and don't take it out forever until like the arm's about to fall off and oh crap, I gotta take this nail out. That's kind of the same situation for me. I was eating some food, I want to say, bit down, the tooth cracked, but it wasn't one of those crack where it like chipped off, I just heard it crack in my mouth. So um, the tooth was still stationary. So I was like, uh, okay. Kept on going on with life because Dental work is very expensive, especially at the time when this happened. And I say I wasn't didn't even have money like that. And then, being me, kept buying shoes, doing irresponsible stuff instead of taking care of what needed to happen. Um, when I finally got a check, the tooth had cracked in the inside of my mouth or whatever, but it was still connected to a certain extent. And then, not too long ago, um, I was uh, heading to Athens for a show at UGA. Um, getting turned up, and the tooth was like, hey man, it's time to go, brother. 
came out, you know, and um, that was the end of that or whatever. So I went to um, the dentist not too long ago, and we're going to get it taken care of. But at least now I can afford it, you know. So it's, everything happened for a reason. At least I'm in a better position now to take care of myself, you know.